be starting with my eyes first and I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and this is just going to completely remove any redness from your eyes, give you a nice clean base to work with and it's going to make the shadow stay on a lot longer. We're going to go in to a product which is a very unlikely saviour, the Salatape. Now what we're going to do is take some of this to pop it and extend our lower lash line. The first colour I'm going to go in with is Wedge from MAC. This is a matte colour and I'm going to take this on my MAC 217 brush. For these shadows today I'm going to go in with my Sleek Original palette. These are pretty much so easy to pick up. You can pick them up from Superdrug, a Boots, wherever. I'm going to take this dark blue colour but it's also slightly silver toned as well. And I'm just going to take this on a Nima shader brush taking your 217 brush I'm just going to go back into wedge and I'm just going to blend those two colours together now to darken up the crease bit here the outer third of our eye we are going to take a dark colour so of course I'm going to take the black from this palette and this is just on a Nima pencil brush. Back into your brush and make sure that is blended. Just to add another little bit of dimension just on the inside corner of our eye, I'm gonna go in with this again, navy kind of silver gray toned color here. This is from the MUA and Dressed eyeshadow palette. Instead of swiping, we're just going to pack that on. Now before I go ahead and remove that tape, I am going to go in with some gel liner. This is just the gel liner from Maybelline. And I'm going to take this on my very trusted Nima angled brush. I've also used some of that gel eyeliner on my waterline and then I'm going to go back into the colour that we originally used from the original palette just on a teeny tiny pencil brush and just take that on our lower lash line. I'm also going to take some of the black from that same palette as well just so we can kind of blend the liner in as well. Looking at Wedge, just take that underneath the eye and give that a blend. This I think is going to be like the longest part of the process just because I hate having that sharp lower lash line. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Sleek Full Fat Lash Mascara and can we just talk about this brush for a second? Like how awesome is that? That is perfect for just getting lash, like getting the length in your lashes, but then you can also use the dome part at the front to really give it a lot of volume. I've been using the MAC False Lash Effect Mascara or something like that, and I absolutely love it, but I do not like it for my lower lashes whatsoever. Now for lashes, I am going to be using a new set of lashes, and these are the Backstage Lashes. These were sent to me, and they are new on the market, and I will put everything down below. I do have a blog post on these, but they are absolutely phenomenal. They are only £6 each, and you also get like free delivery, and there's also part like some promo codes as well. The ones I'm going to use today are Hollywood, and I'm just going to give you a snippet of the others. They are Chelsea, and these are kind of very wispy lashes, but they are shorter on the inner part of your lash. And then my personal favourite, which I'm going to be using for more of a kind of girly, not so intense look as we're going for today, the Soho lashes. These are tapered lashes, but they are on each individual like segment of lash. They are long and then they're short and then long again and short. They're just, oh my god, these are phenomenal. I will be stocking up on these so much. So these do come with a little jar of adhesive. So I'm going to see what that looks like. But that's what they look like. They look so awesome. So now that is all done, I'm going to start with my face. And I look really fat from this angle, actually. So the first thing I'm going to go in for primer is from Nivea. And this is the Aftershave Balm. From Nivea like I just said. Now this has glycerin in it so it's going to make your product 
on the face stay a lot longer and I learned this trick from Nikki Tutorials and I will link her video down below but this hit the makeup world like no tomorrow like BAM just Nivea probably were just like they know something we don't know. For foundation I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation in the shade of 200 beige For concealer, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade of 20 and I'm just going to conceal any problematic areas I do have, which I have a freaking load right now. For powder, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just on a fluffy brush that I actually got from Morrison Supermarket and it's probably one of the best, best, one of the best brushes that I think I've used. Bronzer, I'm going to be taking the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder, which looks like this. And I'm just going to be taking this on a Nima Angled Bronzing Brush, I guess. Then going into the Sleek Blush Palette in the shade of Flame, I'm going to be taking this colour here, which is called Molten. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the Undress Your Skin Iridescent Gold Highlighter just on a blending brush. Now for lips, I'm going to be going in with the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Lip Cream and this is in the shade of birth. This is a very sought after lip cream and the best thing about it is you don't need a lip liner. So that's cool. That was the finished look. I kind of wanted to opt for something a bit more than other than just your classic brown slash black smoky eye. I wanted to go pretty metallic with this and so far I really really like it. So if you enjoyed this video then please give it a massive thumbs up. It would help me out massively and let me know what you want to see next and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!